Hey there, it's Elena Strombo from SodaTutorials.com. Elena is my end game name, and today is April 27th, and it's release 41, R41 day. And today um, actually should be going live here in the next couple of minutes. Um, R41 should be live out there, so if you haven't patched, uh, you can expect that patching. Um, I know the people with that don't use Steam, the patching can take some time. The Steam one for me took about five or six minutes. I know that I can't trade the account and stuff because I've attached it to Steam, but um, I like the fact that I can get to my um, get to my uh, uh, patching and stuff fairly quickly. One thing I've noticed popping in here is you notice that the actual the login screen has changed. So either you can log in with your normal user username password that's attached directly to your to your uh, account or if you're going into Steam there's a login through Steam button so they simplified it on here so I'm, I'm gonna give it a click here see if by some odd chance oh wait looks like my uh, something has happened they renamed one of my items looks like it is live so that's great um, so R41 is up and going now, that means I wasn't able to choose multiplayer online, single player online, off mode. So there's probably some other way to do that in the game that's changed. Let's take a look at what is on the release side. I'm just going to touch on this and just cut this video off. just want to touch what R41 has really hit on. Um, so Truth and Artifice, the Truth Pass has been opened up. Artifice, which is down by Xenos, is now going to be available in the game, which is cool. So if you've gotten that quest out of... Um, out of um, Xenos or on this path you can actually go and complete this to end so this is good another one out there um, Outskirts now Solus Bridge is gonna have an outskirts basically the outskirts is is, a, is an additional part for new players It's they call it expansive I will probably have to go in there and see a video at some point But what it probably means is that it's a big area where new people can come in and do stuff explore different features um, In the original scenes, it's very much, you know, go loot some bodies kill some things basic stuff they probably want to expose you to more of the mechanics of the game that's in there um, three of the rewrites runes of cast for dances mines in the fall the runes and the fall are both pvp zones so they're going to be done to that verdantis which was mainly used as a copper based mine it was based off graph gem mines um, has been decloned and so that's going to be something completely new so i'll be one of the one of the first places i'll be going to to take a look and see what that looks like um, Decorations. Over 200 new pieces of gear now placeable as decorations. Cool. Armor is one of the big things. Some of the vile stuff that's out there. They've done some combat balancing in this release. Um, a lot of it on taming, making some adjustments. I know bludgeons and pole arms, I think it was, was supposed to get a boost. Summon creatures. If you got summon, ele summon air elemental, fire elemental. Those were, no matter what level you're at, they were basically, they had like 200 and some odd hit points and they were like a level 10 creature. It really wouldn't help out much in higher areas, but with this release, they actually are going to tie in your adventuring level and the uh, your casting level for that summon elemental spell. There's a formula for it to create to basically go in and um, I think give it a give it a, a, a more more balanced stats. I think the example they used was if you have like 80 on your summon elemental and you have 80 in your adventuring that the instead of being a level 10 it'd be more like a level 40 uh creature so a little bit stronger more healthy and stuff like that so that was good they're getting on to localization that's happening on there i don't know i don't know what this is um it is being done through the zanata platform i have to go find out what that is so um yeah so that was it so um you know some of the the little bit more of the details said the artifice part was opened up um i am excited to go see what that dungeon looks like um we've got t -t titan grandis finale i'll skip over that because it says uh spoiler minor spoiler esther garden harvest basically some of the npc stuff and uh, they were wired correctly first screenshot of verdantis mines sweet looking all kind of cool kind of like we did uh they did in serpent spine so we'll get to see what that one looks like the fall um it's a mysterious dungeon it's underneath blood bay so um, a lot of vertical space it's a pvp zone the runes of cast six rune cities uh found in there found in novia this one cast itself has been redone so i'm sure that will be good i don't pvp so it's not something i'm going to go directly in um let's see uh, date back to the period what is up with these guys ruin cast this 
uh, Nesborg, Midas Ruin Vaults. There are six ruined cities in Novia that date back to the period of Novian history, which the Obsidian Order rose to power. These were first described in the Sword of Midras, a uh, prequel novel by Tracy Hickman and Richard Garriott. The history of these cities have been lost, but it's rumored that some of them may have been abandoned before the rise of Obsidians. These ruins include Opalus, Liberus, Ruin, Midras, Cass, and Disborg. Deep beneath these ruins lie underground vaults that rumors hint somehow link to the dire prophecies. More stuff going in there. Solus Bridge out outskirts that I talked about. So this is all be, be uh, part of their new player experience, the uh, new user experience, NUE. So we'll definitely get out there to take a look and see what we can go around there and do. They've made a whole bunch of changes into it, which is great. Um, Siege Polish. Siege and POC siege are now visible when entering POTs from the overworld, not just when leaving. Um, when you enter a town under siege, and now appears a message appears that the town you are entering is under siege. To enter town, you must first fight your way through the siege. Do you want to proceed? So it gives you the option as opposed to just putting you in there. Um, NPCs and sieges now immediately spawn in when the scene starts, and do not wait for players to get within 90, me 90 meters like in other scenes. Uh, Love and Path for trial visitors. Since Love Path is now the most polished, they're basically going to default that one to people. They're going to basically put them on that as opposed to Courage or Truth. Let's see. Task and Polish in the starter scenes. Task and Associated on Screen Hits starts screens of the Battle of Solace, helping out with some of the, the starting part of it. Approach to the Tower of Shutter Eye added more interest to the map, including poison gas fields, confusing gas fields, and other dangers. Uh, Kiln and Jennifer devotionals. Kiln now has an honor devotional, was justice, and Jennifer now has the justice. It was honor, so I swapped those around. Um, <clears throat> I like this one. In response to Serpent Spine uh, Mines feedback, there are some more additional iron and silver resources in the scene. Um, the general thing was that, yeah, they took Serpent Spine Mine, which was a primarily an iron. Um, resource or an iron mining area and that it was just a lot less you couldn't get as much um so they've um, bumped that a little bit a new modestly sized section of britney sewers has been opened up under britney wharfs arduous has got street signs archery targets um, are usable virtue test we've added more events in the game that will affect your virtue cool i that's always a random choice for me whether i'm true on that or not twin foothills added tier six and tier eight plunders that mostly come out at night sweet so when you come in you go to the right there's an encampment off to the right in uh, the twin foothill foothills is where and that's where you go to get to alicia mines so there's going to be some extra people in there uh surface map that leads to cabins of scrap now has a tier eight and tier 10 city cobalt brawlers in a small output near the entrance to the underground of the capital uh, the guardians car guarding the immediate entrance to Captain Scrack now have city cobalt appearances as well. Eli's Lighthouse Wildlife has been scattered around the entire scenes. Um, Salt Town adjusted the spawn rates and decreased the max spawn counts. Superstition Cannon Catechus will now teleport you across the, the point properly. That's, I'm assuming that's the um, pay 1500 goals to get through it. No way, man. Run through it. And if you're running through it, you die. Ghost your way through it. Um, Res Ox for Stardust Kings. Double the number of resurre Resurrection Ox in Battle of Solace, Bridge, Blood River, Massacre, and Battle of High Vale. To be kinder to new players who might die. Selling quest items. There was a bug where you could sell them. And if you sold them, then you couldn't complete the quest. They uh, made it uh, so you can't sell them. Tons of scene fixes. I'm sure we'll get to go through this as we go through it. And it's really an extensive list that's out there. Um... We started using Instinct for our shaders, which result in overall frame rate increase. Good. Reduces GPU and CPU load. Um, firework box is optimized for the textures. Performance focus delayed. They're doing what they can on it, but you know, I know they've had other stuff that they've been working on in here. Player Town Housing updates to dynamic POTs. A locked submission form will appear in the game. Um, additionally, shields, tools, and helmets will be placeable as decorations. So... Over 200 additional equipable items that now can be placed as decorations. Chainmail, augmented cloth helm, augmented cloth helm. So you got your helms, you've got your helmets, you've got your shields, you've got addition, your mortal and pestle which, is, pestle, which is cool. Carpentry hammer. That's actually pretty cool because I've got all these prosperity tools. Actually, I'll put most of them out because most of them I don't use. 
Um, I just may put them out for display on there. If, if not, you got regular ones, or you got ones that you craft and you do uh, gold engravings and whatnot, and then you'll be able to display those as well. Weapon decorations, we'll hop on with Marquee Dragon right after this because the uh, one of the vile weapons that we got, one of the sieges that he has, we wanted to place as a decoration. There is a new city home, grandiose city home, the column city home. I don't have a column lot, so I'll never see that, but I'm sure we'll probably concede over in, Har in uh, hometown. Um, harpsichords are in the game. We got, all, we, got a, we got an ornate and red and gold filigree version that's in the add-on store. There's also a kettle drum. Um, let's see, there's a bottom exterior floor decoration flag. So help out with placing on the first floors. Vendors and magic movers, property managers, player vendors can now keep their inventory. This is actually pretty cool. If I use a, I go to my house and I've got a vendor on it, um, like my guild house in Ozhead. So I've got two vendors with people have stuff on it and I want to move that property into the property mover. So I take out the house and put stuff in there. When I put it back, all that stuff doesn't go to the bank. It, it actually stays with the vendor. So it actually helps in uh, with the property moving stuff. Um, Let's see, Hospitals artwork, community member Leo Strom's loving tribute to the hospital is now an in-game painting and tapestry for sale at uh, Caravaggio's, Caravaggio's Wolf and the Gold Crown Art Dealer in Arteris. So, cool, new um, Kodo painting um, based from a community one. Um, the Ori has been updated to reflect latest changes to astronomical positions and heavenly bodies. Um, so, they updated basically the Dark Star Moon Dial. New statues, topiary statues, we made them, so we made plain versions without flowers, um, Titan statues, um, originally Titan statues were only available in gigantic forms, and POT decorations, but numerous player requests have made normal um, scale versions, lit statues as well. Fine upholstered furniture, so chairs and stuff, you got armchairs, sofas, barrel sofas, and all that. There is, um, I know that there are craftable ones as well as ones that are in, in the game as well. Final bookshelves, bedrolls can now be slept in by using the double clicking them. Oh, sweet. Um, blacklist for NPC and item naming. So like preventing you can't name things kind of crazy. House fixes. Um, they've updated uh, homes including decorations. Could not be placed stairs. Could not be climbed without jumping. Oh, they fixed one on my keep. My two-story stone keep. So cool. They'll announce the R40 winners. There'll be 10 uh, place anywhere deeds and 10 POTs. I've got eight. POT tickets and one place anywhere ticket, so cross my fingers. See what happens with that. Um, well, that was for already. That was already there. So they are going to open up another for R41. They'll open up another set of these. Um, let's see. Oh, meeting charts. Uh, new and updated dynamic POTs. If yours is on there, you can see that one. Um, I don't have any that um, I live in there. Um, new moon magic, fireflies. This is actually pretty cool. Surrounds the target with fireflies, making target easier to hit and increasing the crit chance. I think I'm going to go explore that, especially from an archery perspective. Love to be able to basically highlight someone and then you got a better chance to crit chance on them. So you also got meteor shower that's come in. Tame creature balance. So they've actually done some work on the taming. Um, all creatures gain damage resistance to match their wild counterparts. So I'm assuming if you got a spider, it gets damage resistance against other spiders. Uh, increase the speed, the movement rate that made a match the creature types. So wolves are fast, bears are moderate, spiders are still the slowest. Um, increased strength. All creatures gained at least 20 base strength. This increases both their damage and their hit points. Reduce health gen out of combat. Health gen reduced to combat level. Um, taming on the utility bar. All taming skills have been made usable on the utility bar versus the combat bar. And because they made changes, they actually did allow you credit for it. So you can unlearn it. And if you are unlearning it, it will actually transfer that stuff back into your pool instead of losing it. Um, creature environment effects balance, body slam, fix a bug on it. Cabalist effects, fix all cabalist effects to not affect dead players. Confusion fields, fix confusion fields not to affect dead players. Uh, demon in uh, Solania added a spawn delay for demon in the catacombs. Discourage farming. Aww. Damage resistance, avoidance, and parry. Um, gave all creatures some level of damage resistance, avoidance, and parry. Major side effects. All melee things will be slightly less effective. Um, warrior types will get um, will get some. Mages probably none. Also help differentiate them more. 
Elemental resistors, we did a pass on LE resistors because they were only taking 50% of the damage of all melee. Remove that, replace more standard damage resistance. M Ghosts now are much more resistant to melee and physical damage. Ugh. And confusing no longer works on them. A little bit tougher for ghosts. Hit points balance on the melee creature points bring them down more to reasonable values since they take less damage. Tier 8 plus Elven Warrior. Updated the top tier Warrior Elf to make more challenging. Currently only found as a mini boss type in the Dog Room Shooting Gallery in the Rise. Bludgeon. Um, worked on Bludgeon. Um, increased the amount of damage reduction of the by break weapon skill. Break armor debuff power decreased from plus one skill level divided by 25 to plus one skill level divided by 50. But the duration is tripled and changed to stack up to three times. Sweet. Ground pound. Damage change from melee. Damage 2 to 10 um, times 1.4 base focus to 16 to 22 cast. 1.52 seconds. Stun duration on crushing blow and knockback doubled and chance to cut... Uh, and chance to stun cut in half. So they made it more effective, but your ability to do it is a little is less on that. Summon creatures. Um, summon creatures are only use, useful at low levels. So that's what I talked about. So they basically you have a form you can go out there and look at it. Um, basically it's going to make them um, a little bit stronger based upon your adventure level and your casting level of that elemental. Um, skill balance and bug fixes. Acrobatics, the passive light armor skill will add that added damage risk now instead adds a full time dodge chance. Um, you can unlearn that if that nerfed it in a way you didn't like it. Blue blooded, this innate is now in line with fireproof and well grounded innates at 0.25 points of resistance per point. Added blue blooded to 100% experience reclaim for untraining. Confusion now requires successful cast to expire the experience. So you gotta actually cast it and make it work, and then you get the experience. Completed a survey of 400 plus skills to make sure they were actually set to work with cover. Many were not. So, um, magic skills, certain stuff. So, that covering thing. So, they will be affected by those skills. They've done a pass through on that. After investigating crafting bonuses and how they're applied specifically for death magic, we found a very bad math bugs. Bonus for near death was applied like this. Bonus equals 1.0 plus percent dead near both bonus. But this bonus should have been 1.0 plus percent dead times one plus the near death bonus that means near death bonus from the gear was applied to all to death magic all the time before so if you had a piece was 20 percent near death it was really 20 percent to all death all the time that's fixed people are going to be um are going to be uh bummed but it was a bug so decay maximum skill decay that can be accumulated has been raised from 12 hours to 24 deck switching with coconuts now is possible this is not possible Woohoo! Dot uh, DOT's ele elevation. Height differences should no longer impact damage calculations for DOT effects. Douse. Fire. Fixed tooltip for douse to only show the newer value for fire resistance. Evasion. Duration increased to be more aligned with short dura duration. Defensive skill. Fortified defense. The skill is now fixed. It's actually working before it was only very limited. Category attack now it should work within one to two seconds of actually being critically hit by any attack. Glyph shuffling bug. Fixed bugs were excess skill glyphs for not being shuffled into the deck. Hamstring combo. Damage now scales based on skill levels. This makes the combo much more powerful as it should be. Ice field updated this water spell to be persistent effect in the area as it should have been all along. This means you can cast it on a spot. It creates an ice field and entering that field will slow you down. Um, even if you weren't in the area when it was cast. So we noticed that was cableless. We casted it. They run and they just run right through it. Now that's it's something that it's there, and if you come into it, even if you weren't there at the beginning, it's going to affect you. Um, opportunity strike is much improved. The window for use after dodge is increased, and damage bonus hit raised from 1.25 times base to two times base. It still bypasses armor. Chain pickpockets to be player only until we have a system in place that's meaningful. Right now, it gives you a virtue hit and lets you do it while they stare at you. Um. Added new shared set for poison effectiveness that makes poison more powerful. Daggers and stuff does not recall. Fix where combat was not interrupting recall. Too bad. Fix that one. Fix bugs that block pay from being resurrection if they're regenerating health at the exact moment of death. That is the plus one HP res bug. We want to try that. So we'll get to see if that. So basically you would die but you get plus one right at the end and you'd be dead with plus with one hit point. 
and someone who tried to res you and they couldn't res you because you had one hit point. So technically you weren't dead by that by that res. So they fixed it. Hooray! Um, hidden now works for all reveal hidden hits for all players in the air, not just a caster. Fix the tooltip. Only given defensive bonus. That has been changed to attack. All right. Fix the bug in shield air, where it would actually get worse when stacked. <laughs> Great. Shield of crystal. The spell can only be cast on pets. Added shield of crystal. 100% experience reclaim on untrained. Stillness buff. Damage on player now clears the stillness buff, so mages can't stand toe to toe in combat and get bonuses. Fix tabula rasa so that the properly wipes the target's deck, not the caster's deck. <laughs> Weapon balance, caltrops, slowing effect has been increased to 50%. I've got to try caltrops, especially in the... That's something I can easily do in the sieges with the cabalus. Explosion potions, these can now be placed on the user, um, utility bar. I've never used one, though I've collected like 200 of them from the forest sieges. Gear decay increased at a rate where, at which things get damaged by 20%. Probably keep creeping this value up. It's currently from, both from testing and player reports. Stuff never needs replacing. That's true. Night Marshal Helm fixed Night Marshal's Winged Helm to not break set bonuses. Maximum Critical added the max crit stat to weapon archetypes set to the current value of 2 for all weapons, but now 2.5 for pole arms and crossbow. Crossbows, because unlike both, they get a strength bonus of any sort, and pole arms is 2.5. Okay, I may have to switch to a crossbow. Fix Gaze Heart so it can be used in either hand. Instrument Artifacts fix all artifact instruments easier to use. Um, fine. New artifacts added. Seven new artifacts to the game include new type of buff to support one of them and effects, new effects. Touch of Jarek added new, new effects for it. Um, we have a spoiler on that one. Dark Energy Pound, the Obsidian Cable is pulsed through and around them, making them even more sinister than they were before. Male Commoner polishes. We created a new custom head for the face of the Male Commoner along with several variants. Wearable backpacks. I purchased mine, so I'm going to go in there and get that. Um, Elvin Woodbin, Woodbin Shortbow, New Weapons, Broad Hand Axe, Double Axe, Hafted Axe, Cobalt Slag Sword, Flamberge, Vile Two-Handed Sword, Walking Stick, Ornate File Glaive, Glaive, Ornate Glaive, and Ornate Satyr Bardish. We've got these coming in Leaf Shield, Leaf Spear, Thorn Bow, and Thorn So Sword. Cool. I want to see what that looks like. Dark Star, Fur Collared Cloak, and a Lord British fur collar cloak and fur collar sigil cloaks butterfly master coming in in black and white versions emotes and i'll let you go if you want to see it there's spoilers on this i'll just read the names fast so you can't go through that we've got scare boo time rift light poke heavy heavy opac uh, yeah waltz lead waltz follow sweet sweet new day it's tip chat uh tip hat uh beg huzzah mining emotes for npcs face selected target and a toast Mallard Duck is in the game. Light spell visual effects looks really cool. In fact, light spell effects look like this. I will do this one. Watch myself. Now it looks like Tinkerbell. It's a little fairy thing. I didn't like that big orange ball, so I'm glad they did that one. That was actually it's a minor thing, but I liked it. Um, polished torch and one-handed weapon hold, so you don't look as ridiculous. Double animations bugs. Fix that on some of these. You like you'd do something then you do it again graphically musical instrument sync issues all right so they've now got that wounded soldier and female peasant polish delayed contextual help we've added an information button to our interface just in time text vendor tool tips manage orders we got that crafting reshaping and patterns uh, can only be used on gear weapons armor clothing now the system has been expanded so it can function on items including decorations nice Book cover patterns are coming in. New in-game weapon patterns, which are out there. You can read through that list. We've got Cobalt Electric Axe, Electric Great Axe, Elven Woodwind Shortbow, Broad Hand Axe, Double Axe, Hafted Axe, Cobalt Slag, Flying Bears, Vile Two-Handed Sword, Walking Stick. New add-on bundle of pledge weapon patterns. Founder Crossbow, Royal Founder Crossbow, Ornate Vile Glaive, Ornate Glaive, Ornate Sated Bardish. New recipe crossbows are now. We can get crossbow recipes. Uh, boss creature trophy heads, rustic wood and leather furniture, which is sweet. Um, canvas upholstered. This new furniture has basically chair, armchair, barrel chair, barrel sofa, love seat, wood trim, love seat, and long couch. Harpsichord, uh, Norgard chairs, heavy rustic chair, a stag hat, sweet. 
So you got bear hats, wolf hats, now you got stag hats. Uh, Obsidian Forge, we've doubled the health and focus drain. So it balances with the kind of cool stuff you can create. Warlock Chain Bug, fix that. Rose Polish, the colors are now more vibrant. We get to go see that. Merchant Shirt, now properly classified as Cloth Armor. Localization, translation to multiple languages has been restarted on the Zenata platform, Russian language acrylic support. Localization, as part of a, resu a resume local, we will begin rewarding volunteer for gold crowns and the titles of Scribe and Royal Scrivener. See the link post for details. So if you are a foreign speaking, non US speaking person, you want to help on some of the localization stuff, there is a link on here. Go do that. You're French, you're Spanish, you're whatever. I, you know, uh, a Swede, please uh, take a look at that. Help out with the game, help out with your fellow players. German, I'm going to root out for, uh, for my German friends. Training window now shows the skills you can learn from the trainer instead of showing all skills. Newly claimed rewards in the bank will now have green text. Sweet. So when you claim stuff, you're like, where is it? You can't find it. A player position, uh, the arrow on Soda Map. So it goes, uh, it goes. It wasn't turning right with the direction you were facing. Now that's there. Um, conversation will hide the soda map. Basement interface has a cancel and accept button. So now reverse. Vendor item locations can now list all items they have listed for sale on player-owned vendors throughout Britannia. Sweet. There's a context thing. We'll go take a look at that. Play mode selection. This is now accessible from the options menu, allowing you to switch modes. Really? Let's see. Um, oh, you know what? I just realized I didn't, when I cast a spell, you couldn't see it. There's Tinkerbell. So let's see what the options menu looks like. Multiplayer tab. So you can switch here in game. You don't have to go all the way out, do that. You can auto decline. So they've done actually some, I know some look at it. It's a different shape. You know, they got separated out. It looks a lot more polished. So hats up to that, um, like that. So it's not, there's some additional stuff with here. This is moved off the login stuff into the game, so you can do that in here. What else? Ah, I need to get back to my thing and to that thing. So they're working on general stuff as well. There are some delayed things that are in there. Um, they're, um, you know, normal standard verbiage. That's it. So it's a pretty decent release. It's got a lot of stuff on here. It's one step closer. You can see that the, there's a lot of work that's been on the polishing of stuff. So, and the mechanics of it. So things that need to be done before they go production and go full release. So hats off to that. I'm going to hop off now. I'm going to go get on to live stream over there with uh, Mr. Marquis Dragon. And uh, I'll be over there on his Twitch feed for a bit. And then uh, the later today, I are, today and tomorrow, I'll start playing in and putting out some videos on R41. If you've got questions or comments, put them in the video. If you got you like in the video, thumbs up. If you're not, thumbs down. Um, please let me know why if you are doing that. Um, subscribe. If you're finding the content useful, please subscribe to the channel. That always helps out. I know I'm getting up there in my subscribers from where I was when I started uh, a month or a month and a half ago, coming on two months. Um, so thank you for all that have um, subscribed. But if you are finding it you know, useful, please go ahead and do that. And I'm going to be starting to work on some of the end stuff and beginning stuff, putting in some more formal um, entry stuff into the uh, entry and exit stuff in here. A little bit more production like. Um, that was it. Uh, once again, it's Elena Strombo from SodaTutorials.com. Take care. Have a good one.